This week, we check in with Alexis Mitchell for Women on the Street. Check in with the UF women's rugby team. Stop by and chat with the internship office about a career closet. Preview the latest theater production on campus called The Taming. Get an update on Dr. Milk's pharmacy lecture series. And hear from the University of Finley's visiting executive from this past week. Hello, I'm Adriana Powell Lawrence. And I'm Darius Merriweather, and welcome to this edition of UF TV News. This week, Paul staff writer and UF TV reporter Alexis Mitchell went out on the streets to get opinions from students about a growing problem pointed out by campus security officers. Hello, I'm Alexis Mitchell, staff writer for The Pulse. In next week's edition, you will find a story about the hazards of texting and walking from a security officer. So I thought it'd be cool to get some opinions from students. Do you ever text and walk at the same time? Not successfully. Okay. <laughs> when you try to, do you ever run into people? Have you ever run into people? I've run, ran into friends. Um, I've nearly ran into poles before. Oh my gosh. Yeah, um, it's pretty funny when you realize like, oh wow, I almost just hit that. Yeah. <laughs> How often do you notice people texting and walking on campus? Mm, pretty often, I'd say. I see a lot of people just walking by, not paying attention, just uh -huh. messing around on their phone. So. Has anyone ever ran into you while you were texting? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So do you think that texting and walking at the same time is a hazard? Um, I believe that texting and walking is a hazard because what if somebody else was also texting and walking and you do run into, into each other and hurt yourself? I think it can be a hazard. I think texting and walking can be a hazard, yes. How can it be a hazard? Because, especially if you're crossing the street, I think that's a big thing here with that, that road over there. If people aren't looking, they could get hit by a car or a bike or something. Okay. Uh, do you think texting and walking is a hazard? Yes. Why? Just because, I mean, you could accidentally step into a hole or you could, like, hit somebody. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I've seen people walk into, like, trees and run over bikes. And especially, like, when we're, you're crossing the street, um, not using the side or the crosswalk, and people are just going everywhere and walking in front of cars, it, it becomes a hazard then because then you're putting your life in the person driving's uh, hands and... You never know what's going to happen. So, yeah, I think it's definitely a big hazard. Thanks, Alexis. You can find more on this topic in this week's issue of The Pulse, located in the newspaper bins around campus or online at pulse.finley.edu. For those who don't know, the University of Finley has a women's rugby team. A mix between American football and traditional soccer, rugby is a great way to get involved and meet new people on campus. The women's rugby team practice every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 p.m. on Cramer Field behind the, the Davis Street building. Last year, the Oilers made a terrific run, winning the state competition while moving on to compete in the Mid Midwest Regional Tournament, where they finished fourth overall. Veteran rugby player Alexis Morrison said, My favorite part is how people of all sexes, shapes, races, religions, and backgrounds can all come together on a rugby field and become such an unstoppable force. Currently, there are 23 girls on the team, but they welcome all newcomers. For more information, contact Coach Jim Hall at halllaw at cbcglobal.net or reach out to veteran rugby player Alexis Morrison at morrisona at finley.edu. We'll be right back for this short break. On behalf of the Chamber of Commerce, welcome to Finley and Hancock County. We're so glad you chose the University of Finley and we're excited to have you in our community. The Chamber of Commerce has been representing the interests of Hancock County businesses for over 125 years. We serve as a resource for businesses and individuals seeking local information and provide unique opportunities to connect businesses and individuals to the community through various programs and events. We are a great resource for linking you to local businesses and professionals in the community. You might attend one of our networking events or even find us helpful in searching for internship opportunities. We encourage you to go out and explore Finley. We're here to answer any questions you might have about your new community along the way. You can find us online at finleyhancockchamber.com or follow us on social media with Finley Hancock County Chamber of Commerce. Welcome to Finley. The Hancock County Convention and Visitors Bureau is happy to have you join the excitement in our town. There is so much for you to explore. Visit one of our many parks for walking trails, disc golf, or paddle boating. And when the weather turns cold, we even offer cross-country skiing and snowshoeing. 
Head downtown to explore a variety of dining options, coffee shops, entertainment, and nightlife. Many special events happen throughout the year. During the school year, you won't want to miss events like Rock on the Rooftop, Oktoberfest, Winterfest, Art Walk, and Third Thursdays, just to name a few. We are here to inform you of what's happening in the community. Unforgettable memories are waiting for you. Just dive in and discover them. Visit us online at visitfinley.com for our calendar of events and other great resources, or get social with us on Facebook and Twitter. We can't wait for you to experience Finley. It's easy for everyone to fall in love with our community. Welcome back, UF. The Office of Internship and Placement takes charge of helping students find a career path that suits their interests. This semester, they just opened a new feature. We caught up with Phil Gunder, Director of Internships and Cooperative Education, to find out more. So the idea of the Career Closet you know, has actually been a work in progress for the last four years that I've been the director of the internship program here on, on campus. But you know, we have a lot of students that you know, might not choose to go to an event that we host just purely because they don't have the right clothes or they don't have the right materials to be confident to go in and talk to certain employers that we have on campus. Um, so we were approached by the advancement office here on campus through the parent project that we have every year. Um, and they kind of threw the idea of saying we want to sponsor something that your office wants to do. And the idea of the career closet was something that we've been bouncing around, but funding was a big issue. And they offered the funding and we offered the idea. And you know, here we are today um, with an idea that's been very helpful for, for students so far. So how the actual program works, um, each student's given uh, six points a year and those points are divvied up dependent upon what kind of item that they would like to borrow or, or take from the closet. Um, so we have a program in place. Um, the, uh, the location of the career closets in the basement of Schaefer Library. Um, right now it's under construction so it's kind of hard to find but we have a student uh, manager that's uh, here every Tuesday and Thursday uh, from 11 o'clock to 1 p.m. Um, and she can actually help you or give you more information. Um, if those days or those hours don't work, sending myself an email um, and setting up a time with anybody from the Office of Internships and Placement you know, would be a good place to start. Feel free to contact Phil Gunder at gunder at finley.edu for more details on the career closet and other opportunities presented by the internship office. Beginning on this past Wednesday, University of Finley Theater Department began its production of The Taming on campus. Tickets are available free for all UF students at the box office in the AMU and can be purchased at the doors before the show for community members. The production will continue tonight and tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. and on Sunday at 2 p.m. in the Grimm Theater located in the Egner Building on campus. We will be right back. Hi, I'm Lori Bowman. I am the owner of the Dressing Room Boutique located in downtown Finley, Ohio on Main Street. We are a contemporary boutique offering separates that you can mix and match, as well as dresses and accessories. We post all of our new items on Facebook every day, and we also post all of our events and specials that we're doing um, for the week. So check us out on Facebook. It's Facebook, um, The Dressing Room Boutique Finley, and come and like our page and follow us. Dr. Milks of the Pharmacy Department has been hosting a lecture series on substance abuse in room 2225 of the Davis Street Building. Since the first lecture in the series that was hosted by Dr. Milks himself, several other officials have come in to speak on the subject. Police officers, judges, and recovery services have all spoken to attendees about chemical dependency. Dr. Milk's goal of raising awareness about the issues surrounding drug abuse will continue through the rest of the semester. The series is open to the public every Wednesday from 6 to 8 p.m. For more information, check out the article by Pulse staff writer Hannah Dunbar at pulse.finley.edu. On Monday of this past week, the University of Finley welcomed its annual visiting executive to campus, Marianne Rolletter, a former associate athletic director from Indiana University came back to her alma mater on September 21st. Rolletter was a graduate of Friendly College with a bachelor's in education. She later achieved her master's degrees in both education and sports management. Rolletter came back to talk to students about leadership, the development of a good leader, and, the help, and how to self-evaluate in order to improve those leadership skills. UF senior public relations major Jake Miller got to sit down and talk with Rolletter one-on-one. 
um, I, doing some research about you, saw that you, you must have obviously had some sort of passion with giving back and producing successful people yourself, starting as an educator and moving into intercollegiate athletics. How does that passion drive you in your work? And is that something that is that you found critical to, to doing your job and being as successful as you were? I think so, and I, and I think part of it is, first of all, we're working with students, and there are a lot of challenges when you work with students, in or out of athletics. And I think the, the part of it for me that, that was fun is that I got to take my educational background, and I got to work with these students in a sports setting, which I love, and watch them come in as freshmen, wide-eyed, scared, and then watch them leave when they graduate as young men and women who had confidence and who had a degree. And it would, that part of it was so much fun for me. So I really still considered myself very much an educator when I was in administration. It was only when I got away from sport administration and got more into the business of the athletics, I missed the connection every day with the students. And so I realized at that time that, that that was really the connection for me was the education piece, not, not the sports, nothing. It was the education and working with a young student. The full videos of both Row Letter's lecture and the interview can be found on the University of Finley's YouTube channel. Be sure to check out uftv.finley.edu for the first in a series of exclusive interviews. This week, we spent some time with anatomy professor Linda Peck to talk about what she does outside the classroom. An article written by Paul staff writer and UF Productions president Jake Miller can be found in today's edition of The Pulse. That wraps it up for this week's edition of your UF TV News. I'm Adriana Powell Lawrence. And I'm Darius Merriweather. See you next time, Finley. Underwriting is to UFTV what advertising is to commercial television. By sharing our costs, organizations can satisfy their corporate and marketing objectives through an association with UFTV programming. Our underwriting team can design a program that is custom made for you to reach your advertising goals on UF's media network, UFTV, The Pulse, or WLFC 88.3. To underwrite a program, contact UFTV at 419-434. 5909.